Welcome to FX Street. Thank you for joining us. I encourage you to head on over to YouTube, join our channel by hitting that subscribe button, and you can follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto. Taking a look here at Cosmos or Atom, you have a lot of reasons to be bullish here and a lot of reasons to maybe not necessarily be bearish, but expect a pullback. So there's two uh, things here happening on this daily chart that uh, make me uh, uh, leery about how much more it could sustain an up move. It's still in a, the RSI is still in a bull market, but it is kind of getting some pressure at that. Uh, if we had it set up for bear market conditions, it would be topping out in that, it, it, in between the overbought levels of 55 and 65. Um, additionally, I mean, that daily candlestick's kind of bearish, but then you have a Kumo twist, which is, uh, uh, it, they can turn into turning points for a market. So, this kind of activity here definitely shows some pressure uh, up above and that it may pull back down lower. If it does move down lower, probably going to be limited to that $28 to $28.50 zone. You have a 50% FIB retracement at $27.88. And then you have the tank and send and the kitchen send down there as well. So there's some good support structure that's developed. Also, you have the bottom of this uh, uh uh, ascending triangle trend line there acting as support so good good support zone really between 26 and 28 from a weekly per perspective a little bit different um when you see the same triangle pattern but you know the 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 lagging span still above the candlesticks so that's bullish you've got the RSI in a bull market conditions and bouncing off of the breaking out of the first oversold level at 50, moving higher. And then you have the composite index, very, very, very constricted with a cross above the uh, for the fast moving average. And if it continues, it should have a pretty easy time crossing above its slow moving average as well. It's facing some pressure up against that weekly tank and send, but if it can get back above that, this should have an, a very, very strong move south. And ultimately, the goal would be to get a nice breakout above this ascending, this ascending triangle. And that first uh, target is, is likely to be in the $56 range or, more, or, or highly probable that it would reach that, the, the 1618 FIB expansion at $70. So that's what I would see there. As far as downside risks are concerned, Again, they're probably limited to that uh, in the in the meantime to that twenty seven twenty six to twenty eight dollar range. Uh, any breakdown below that, you you get into some uh, deeper moves into the eighteen to twenty dollar range. But for right now, everything looks pretty good so far. And yeah, from a daily chart perspective, uh, Cosmos Adam. It's not far from an ideal bullish Ichimoku breakout, and uh, that would be a very, very strong, uh, strong signal that uh, other instruments in the DeFi space are about to see a nice breakout. So something to watch. We'll keep an eye on it and update it as it as needed. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>